what up people this is for the people for lying me gaming click on the app simple than that uh, wait for a minute because the stupid thing don't want to work there you go ignore that you're on the main page of lying me right here simple click on the top scroll it to the side click on the gaming once you're in the game of the screen click on the one below on the middle with the lim with the symbol of the video once you click on that you'll be on this page both of it is for the one is for mobile one is for the PC the one we're doing now today is for the PC so you can type here whatever you want um, whatever Call of Duty Fortnite um, whatever you want to type for whatever your game or put any game I'm playing random game or whatever once you finish typing that you click on the one below to go live okay so now we're in the instruction so the instruction is they're telling you hey what to do for you to go live so you see on the top say URL in the middle the URL is your key other people they just they don't know it's the key they think it's something else you click on that you send on the arrow click on the arrow and that will send to your email click on that this is where you pop it will pop on your screen either on your phone or iPad whatever you have click to send to of course you go send it to your email once you're finished with that type in your email you click on the arrow on the top and you send it to your email I gotta do it because I don't want to send, you know, I don't want people to see my email. At the bottom is what your resolution, resolution, the resolu <laughs> resolution. There you go. <laughs> Got my tongue to tangle. It's a sample for you for, you know, to go live. Um, you don't really have to do what it said really. You just go to your setting, set it up, and find your way of. The balance to to go live until you find that good balance to stream and not have the problem. Then we have Streamlab OBS. This is what I use. Never have much problem with it. Never have issues, and it's very clean, organized, and have no problem. And I like it better than the OBS. For my point, the main thing you need is to is the Elgato. Normal to any gamer, almost every gamer that stream have an Elgato. Now it might be the same one, but some they have it on their on their PC or on this one like me. Um, their price range can go to that to one seventy nine to something ninety dollars. All depend. The one I use is the latest, newest one that they have so far. That I know for this one. It's the Elgato, and it's worked fine with me. I have no problem. So there's one is the HD60, and it's the one is the HD60s. Uh, That's the one I have right now. One thing you need too, you need a PC and a monitor, of course, duh. But you need whatever else. So with that, the Elgato, you need is to connect the PC to the Xbox you connect the Xbox to the Elgato on one side and on the other side you connect the PC to the PC so that that's what you do is to connect it both of them together and it will pop on your screen and then from there you control your stream and your um, either record it or whatever you want to do but you need it to make it to run the stream smooth and had no problem like laggy or problems crashing or whatever else so Elgato is the one key thing that you need for you to stream if you're a streamer you will need this not just for like me but you will need it for YouTube Twitch and I don't think there's other way too but for me this is the best one to use so it will work with the PlayStation and Xbox with the Elgato with no problem, no lagging, no 
no pixel, losing pixel, or anything else, it worked perfect for you. So, if anything else, if you need help, uh, whatever else you need, so I let let you go, uh, let you know again. My next video will explain everything else, how to stream on Lightning, how to connect all this stuff, what I show you right here. So, let you know. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you later on. Peace.